Hey there, welcome to SKO6 Programming. Today we'll see a program to display Fibonacci series using iteration. Fibonacci series is a special type of series where first two terms are 0 and 1 and each term is a sum of previous two terms. Here our third term 1 is the sum of first and second term 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and our fourth term 2 is the sum of second and third term 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 similarly 3 is equal to 1 plus 2 5 is equal to 2 plus 3 8 is equal to 3 plus 5 and so on so here is the code so we will do this by storing these numbers in an array so this is a function for displaying Fibonacci series and x is the maximum number of terms to display the number of terms of the series so int f 25 so f is an array of size 25 and f 0 is equal to 0 that means at 0th position we will store 0 that is the first term is 0 at first position we will store 1 that is the second term is 1 now here is the for loop to store the rest of the numbers of the series in the array so we will start from the second position let's assume that x is 5 so now we will store numbers at position 2 3 and 4 f of i is equal to f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 that means that the number at ith position is the sum of previous two terms now first i is equal to 2 f of 2 is going to be f of 2 minus 1 plus f of 2 minus 2 that is the number at second position is the sum of number at first position and the number at zeroth position now again we go back to the for loop now i is 3 and f of 3 is going to be f of 3 minus 1 plus f of 3 minus 2 that is the number at third position is going to be the number at second position plus the number at first position Similarly, in the next step, the number is 4, the i, i is 4, uh, the position is 4, and f of 4 minus 1 plus f of 4 minus 2. That is, the number at 4th position is the sum of number at 3rd position and the number at 2nd position. Okay, now we will go again back to for loop, this time i is 5, 5 is smaller than 5, no, it's false statement, 5, five is equal to 5 so we will come out of the for loop so we have stored number at position 0 1 2 3 and 4 that is we have stored the five terms in the array now this is a for loop to print all the numbers in that array now we will print all the numbers in that array see out fi okay now let's come to the main function the user will enter the limit for the series c in n if n is smaller than 25 fibo n so let's test the code 5 0 1 1 2 3 10 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 24 so here are all the terms till 24 we cannot take more than 24 terms for integer data type because integer data type cannot store large numbers it can store only up to 4 bytes so thank you for watching the video if you like the video subscribe to our channel sko6 goodbye